Welcome to episode number five of uh, my Kerbal Space Program series, and uh, we are with Jebediah, and he hopefully is going to be the first man on, or first Kerbal, rather, on the moon. And uh, it's been a long time since I played. Okay, we're going this way. So I think the first thing I want to do is um, I want to lower my periaps. So let's do that. And we can, I want it really low. 15,000, I think that'll be, uh, I think that'll be pretty good. So I'm going to ignite my engine. And... Okay, so what? let's see what that did. So 13,000. And uh, I, I made it so I can land on the daytime side. And I guess we're going to land uh, kind of near this crater. So maybe we'll check out that crater if we have enough fuel. But uh, have I done any science? Review stored data. Okay, so I did an EVA report. Can I do a crew report? No, I already, I already have that. Did I do any goo at this? I think I did. View data. Yeah. Okay. So let's time accelerate, and we'll go around the planet, or around the moon, rather. Okay. So. Um, so we'll need to watch our altitude here, and when it gets to, uh, let's say, uh, 25, I want to start, uh, want to start this stage again and, uh, burn. And speaking of stages, I need to check my stages. So this next stage has these three engines decouples and ignites that engine right here. I just want to be careful not to uh, detach these uh, prematurely, so yeah. So let's, let's uh, accelerate time a little bit more. That's a cool picture. Yeah, I like that. And there's a planet over here. Okay, so let's 46,000. I think, let me see. Hmm. Oh, we got a ways to go. Let's, okay, so actually, that's starting to get to the dark side. So I think I might want to start, uh, might want to start burning now. And, uh, start falling because if I get too far then uh, I won't be able to see the sun and there's the sun we're gonna guess land right around here I actually don't like this as part of the moon as much I like the the brighter side right around here Let's keep on burning. Hmm. Let's check our map screen. Uh, I guess we'll land somewhere around here. So I'm just going to keep on slowing down this poodle engine. I wonder if I can e IVA see there's the sun okay there's you can't see much from the cockpit view okay so we're just, just gradually slowing down and uh, actually maybe hmm 
I might want to ditch this tank here, because I'll have uh, a lot of fuel, I think. I think I brought enough fuel, so I'm just going to just slow down, and then I'm going to drop this tank, and then I'll use the actual lander part. And let's, let's physical time accelerate a little bit, because we got, we're not even in the, this part of the moon yet. Getting close. And did I pack lights? I did pack lights. That's nice to know. And I should start. Oh my god. Faster. Oh god. This is going all wrong. Hmm. Well, I might want to retry that. See, I didn't even reach any part of the atmosphere. Well, I know it doesn't have an atmosphere, but normally that ticks down. Oh, great. We're all the way back here. Ah, I should have quick saved. But I think we can do this a lot faster. And... Ah, I should have lowered my periaps. Yeah, let's try this again. Let's find the retrograde marker, and we'll just slow down. And let's land on this bright, happy side, instead of the dark, depressing side. <laughs> I don't know if it really makes a difference, but... Yeah. Where does the moon go? Okay, here it is. Okay, so we got to start burning. Actually, I think I might... Hmm. I'm going to make a separate stage with these three engines. So in case we uh, run out of time, I can activate all three. And uh, at the same time, because I think what happened was... Uh, I probably might have made it if I didn't activate any of the engines because uh, I think the issue was um, they, th they thrust it off balance and then it caused the whole spaceship to flip. That's not good. Okay, we're 40,000. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna start uh, thrusting. And we'll lower our apple apps. See, this side is just so much easier. To, or it looks easier to land on because uh, it's just more contrast, I guess. Let's throttle up. See, I just haven't landed on the moon for a long time. And uh, that's why I crashed. I haven't played this game for a couple of weeks as well, and uh, I just decided to finish this episode, because it's, uh, it's been a while. So the surface last time was about 2300 uh, meters, so uh, I will be more careful this time. And actually, while we slow down, we can do some science experiments, maybe? Uh, doo -doo -doo. What does it say? In space near moon. High radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. Looks like it'd be fun to paint rockets with this. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't paint any rockets. Goo seems to be less dense. And I think these other ones were high above moon. Let's review data. Yeah, high over moon. And then we have uh, low over moon. 
or in space near moon. Oh, and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. So let's do this. And we'll go straight down. It's probably not the most efficient, but uh, yeah, you do what you do. So let's let's go down a bit faster. And uh, I think I'm going to uh, wait till the last second. And actually, I'm going to quick save in case I have to do this a third time. And I think I'm going to start slowing down now. Yeah, that was a good timing. Can I see my shadow? Okay, there's the shadow. And I'm going to... I'm going to ditch that. And we'll put our gear out, our landing gear. And let's go this way a little bit. Watch that crash blow up. Okay. And we're coming down. Let's throttle up a little bit more. This is tricky. Okay. And touchdown! And we almost broke an engine. What was that explosion? That's a pretty picture. Let's, let's turn the UI off. Okay, so now that we're on the ground, let's, uh, we'll leave our lights on. That looks pretty cool. We got, uh, solar panels. So let's do our, uh, oh, over here, let's do our experiments. The fine dust of the moon intermixed with some of the samples. You have a sneaking suspicion that we'll never be able to uh, get to the lab clean again. Okay, so then observe the goo. Goo seems less dense. And let's extend our ladder. And uh, crew report, I guess. 20 science. So let's have him EVA. EVA report. 24 science. That'll be great. And we're in the highlands. So take data. And I want to store experiments. So let's go down the ladder. Oops. Well, I didn't have another ladder there. Oh, and I bumped the whole rocket. Jeez. So let's get a ways away or something. Yeah. I think if I hold shift, you run faster. I don't know. I can't remember. That's a cinematic picture. Let's take I want to take a picture. So let's plant our flag in the name of Kerbal. Or Kerbin, rather. And there we go. What should we type? Uh, moon first landing. I can't remember. Oh, Jebediah is his name. Jeb I uh, I hope I spelled that right. Oh my gosh, I can't. Jeb I I think that looks right. Was the First Kerbal to land here in the highlands of the moon. I spelled it right, I think. Let's, can we read the flag? I did spell it right. Extendomatic series A1 deployable. I didn't know they had a name for it. So let's do, um, I guess, a surface sample. Um, 
Anyway, I think I might wrap up the episode here. Um, we got, uh, landed on the moon, and I think, uh, next time we may visit a different biome. Um, maybe a crater or something. But, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.